Hey everybody, welcome back to our beginner's guide to serging. In this episode, we're gonna learn about all the cool specialty feet that you can use on your serger. In our last episode, we learned about the blind hem foot. So it's a great time to learn about some of the other feet out there to help with your serging. Over the next few episodes, we'll be highlighting four other serger feet. The elasticator foot, yarn application foot, lace application foot, and the gathering foot. There really isn't much out there about these feet, so I really hope this video helps. In this episode, we're gonna be learning about the elasticator foot. Let's go over its anatomy. So when you open this little part, you can see where you insert your elastic, right through this channel, which is about half an inch wide. The screw controls how much tension is applied to the elastic, in turn stretching the elastic more or stretching the elastic less. Turn the screw left to increase the tension, turn the screw right to loosen the tension. This little bar here is where the foot snaps onto the shank. So to insert your elastic, first open this little, well, let's call it a door. Open the front door and insert the elastic. Then close the door and tighten the screw. Pull the elastic through the back and tighten the tension screw until you feel the desired amount of tension. I've taken the shank off my machine already because this foot is hard to install with the shank still attached. Screw the whole thing back onto your machine. If you're going to use your serger knife, make sure it's already lowered because once this foot is installed, you can't move the blade without reopening that little door on the front. I forgot to do that. So you'll set up your machine for a three or four thread overlock. You can use either one. Make sure your elastic is pulled to the back of the machine. While you start the stitch, you want to hold on to the tail of the elastic from the back of the machine, and it's just for the first few stitches. Then start serging normally. While I feed the fabric, I'm just holding on to the elastic, but I'm not applying any tension. The foot is making sure the elastic is evenly stretched for me. I love that this foot ensures your elastic is fed at the same tension and that the position of the elastic is consistent, creating a nice, even application. You can adjust the width, you can trim the fabric or not, whichever you want. Now, if you want your fabric to be more gathered into the elastic, adjust your differential feed to 2.0. That will make sure more fabric is shoved into the seam. So it's a pretty cool foot so much easier than using your regular old general purpose foot. The only thing I don't like about this foot is that the opening doesn't accommodate wider elastic. However, if you really want to use a larger elastic, you can trim down the elastic like so. Just make sure the cut edge is along the serge side so that the edge is finished and won't fray. So I hope that this was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. If you want to hang out with our sewing community, visit us online at sewingpartsonline.com, on Facebook at facebook.com slash sewingpartsonline, Twitter at sewingparts, Google+, Pinterest, Instagram, we're everywhere. And be sure to subscribe by clicking that button below for next week's sewing video.